I've been dating myself now for six years. God, I don't know who's weirder, you or me. <laughs> I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was sitting over on the bench. What the fuck? I was over on the bench. I made a salad with crazen. That's it. Go to your room. A date, a bad boy, or a nice guy? A nice guy. I'm done. I, no, bring me all the nice guys. Find me, please. Come on, man. Damn. And a slice of pepperoni pizza. I'm 30 years old. Almost all of my friends are in long-term serious relationships or married or with kids, and I am feeling lonely. As much as I want to fight it and act like it doesn't get to me, that I'm 35 and I'm single and I don't have any prospects right now. People in relationships need to stop. Stop telling single people to enjoy this time while they're single. Ha date yourself. I've been dating myself now for six years. <laughs> but like at the end of the day, I would love more than anything to come home to somebody. Feminist modern women who once chased the thrill of dating bad boys now reflect on their choices. Realizing those relationships brought fleeting excitement, but no stability or lasting fulfillment. All right, thoughts I have being a single 30-something year old living in New York City. I think the thought of not finding your person and falling in love is really scary. But you know what I think is even worse is falling in love, finding your person, and having it be the wrong time and wrong place and did not working out. Many women admit they were drawn to rebellious men only to face heartbreak and disappointment. Now, they yearn for the reliability and kindness they once dismissed in good men. Don't mind the rib tonight, I actually have something I wanna say. I don't know when it started, but I realized I started to do this thing where I don't let myself actually feel the things that I feel. I don't let myself admit that it does overwhelm me that I'm 35 and single. As much as I want to fight it and act like it doesn't get to me, that I'm 35 and I'm single and I don't have any prospects right now, isn't going to change what I really feel. It's hard. It's really hard. Regret sets in as they see the bad boys they once adored failing to offer love or partnership. They now long for the genuine connection they ignored in their younger years. A date, a bad boy, or a nice guy? A nice guy. I'm done. I, no, bring me all the nice guys. Find me, please. I'm out on bad boys. Not about that life. Well, why'd you stop going for the bad boys now at 29? I'm 29, babe. Like, we're done. All about the, the good life, the soft life. I want to live well. Out on anything that causes me stress. But why were you chasing that at 22 and 23? Well, you're 22, 23. You don't know what the heck you're doing. You're just like... You think it's exciting and it's like you realize after it's not actually exciting at all. You're like, all right, I'm out. I'm out on this. Did you feel like back then a bad boy would be more able to protect you too as opposed to a nice guy? No, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like I think back then you think it's exciting and you think that you don't know what you want at that age, first of all. You don't know yourself well enough. Now you do. Now I'm like, all those guys, bye. You're no. I'm the allure of danger once overshadowed the appeal of loyalty. Feminist women now realize that the traits they valued in bad boys rarely align with the foundations of a healthy relationship. I'm 30 years old. Almost all of my friends are in long term serious relationships or married or with kids, and I am feeling lonely. I've previously been really good about covering up this loneliness with work. I'm a surgery resident, I work 80 hours a week, so I don't often really you have time to sit in that loneliness. But the past year, I changed to a research schedule where I work more normal 40-hour weeks, and it's been a lot more depressing for me. Reflecting on their past, they recognize they rejected good guys who could have offered stability, love, and respect. Now, they wish for a chance to rewrite their romantic choices. Probably why I'm gonna be single, forever. Not really by choice. It's not about being insecure. It's about staying the fuck in your lane. Because honestly, when it comes to the whole finding a wife thing, a lot of men want women to cook and clean. And I'm just like, not going to fucking cook and clean. Cook? Like, I've been eating canned fucking tuna for the past 15 years of my fucking life. What did you say? I'm not cooking for myself. Why the fuck am I going to cook for you? So I get why you would not want to choose a woman like me to be your wife. I, I don't really look like a wife either. I, I'm pretty. I get it. Thanks to mom and dad, shout out to Big G. But like, I am not prim and proper. I'm not gonna be a trophy wife, okay? Uh, my hair, highlights. 
Yeah, that's the most type of upkeep that I do. I don't even shave my legs. I go months without shaving my legs. So I don't, I, I, I am a DJ, okay? Travel the world. I get paid to party. I'm around men. No one's gonna fucking take me serious. No man that wants an ambitious woman, they lie. Women with ambition are women that can't be controlled. You have a voice. Your voice gives an opinion. Men don't like women to have opinions. So in conclusion, amongst a lot of other things, I just feel like I'm gonna be single forever, not because of me not choosing men, but because men not choosing me, because clearly, I just don't make the fucking cut. The excitement of dating bad boys fades with age, leaving many feminist modern women feeling empty. They now crave the emotional security that only a good man can provide. It's Friday night and I'm dressed up and going out for a change. There's a singles event, traded for a lady, run by a radio station, Triple N, and I'm going with my best friend who I've known for 20 years, and I've got this cute outfit which I never get to wear. So, either way, it's a little bit lame, we can always leave and go to the fried ice cream place nearby. So wish me luck. Cheers! Once enamored by bad boy's charm and unpredictability, these women now see the consequences. A trail of broken relationships and missed opportunities with men who valued them sincerely. And I don't really want to emphasize any of the cliches of it'll happen when you least expect it or be happy with yourself first. That shit did not help me. That made me infuriated at people that told me that. But okay, so February 9th, so I'm specifically sitting at the airport in Houston and they make an announcement on the loudspeaker that $600 they're offering if you'll sit in the Houston airport for six hours. I was like, okay, sign me up. Then I immediately, while I'm waiting now for my six hour later flight, I look at where Southwest Airlines flies internationally because I also like to fill my time and my loneliness with trips and traveling. So February 9th, I'm also now sitting at this airport and I have this trip planned to go see my friend in New York the next week and that's where my last situationship had just moved. And I remember being in the airport so anxious to text him that I'm going to New York and not knowing if he was gonna wanna see me or not. So I work up the courage to text him and he says like, yeah, like let's grab dinner. So then literally one week later, I was in New York, I see him, and the rest of the weekend carries on. I reach out to him a few days later asking if he wants to do one more thing before I leave. And basically he just like shuts me down entirely. And I think- They've grown weary of the drama and inconsistency that bad boys brought into their lives. Today, their focus shifts to finding a partner who offers peace, partnership, and shared goals. Hey, I'm confused. What happened to strong, independent women don't need no man? What happened to women not wanting to date men anymore? What happened to lonely, single, and desperate men would do anything to get a woman? For some reason, the math is not mathing. Because from what I'm hearing about singles events, it's flooded with women. Women are looking for relationships. Women are looking for relationships despite whatever they're saying online that they prefer to be alone without men. See, women are not being truthful. They come online and they say they don't need a man. They don't want to be in a relationship. They don't want to settle. But then when you see a singles event, it's primarily all women. Where are the men? Yeah, we know where the men are because they don't want to deal with it anymore. You see, there's a big difference. When women say they don't want something, they actually want it. When a man says he doesn't want something, he means it.